Sinking beers and making jokes. Just three average blokes. It's the JKS podcast. Okay, go, but make sure you say episode three. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode three of the JKS podcast. <laughs> that was so unnatural. I um, I literally said, I was like, okay, I'm going to... Anyway, we orchestrated that. It's um episode 40. We're shit. How are we, boys? <laughs> No, it's episode three. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but, uh, what we didn't tell you before, Shorty, is that Nipper almost food poisoned us last night. Oh my god, what did you do? You know how he went over to Maddie's house for Gordon Messen or whatever it's called? I do, yeah. It's like Dutch Korean barbecue. Which you cook yourself, right? Well, it's not Dutch thing? Korea, it's just Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> but you, yeah, you have to they cook They stole it from my people. <laughs> Oh. They improved it. It's like it's like a Korean barbecue, but they also have an oven portion, so you can cook stuff in the oven part as well as the top. So once again, the white people improving society. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you can't say that. No more. It was so she had all the equipment at her house or something. For yeah, this? look, it's not probably the most efficient way of cooking food, but it, okay. it's there. They took all right. over an hour to like heat up to the maximum heat. <laughs> <laughs> it took right. so long. <laughs> Imagine like a little 15 by 15 centimeter square. So you, awesome. can't, get, you can't get a lot of food on there. With like four people sitting around just like trying to like cook a sausage at a time. Yeah, yeah. And it yeah, takes nice. a really long time to, <laughs> yeah, and to cook. Sausages and meatballs take a long time to cook anyway. And then on a little like half powered <laughs> stove. <laughs> even <slower. laughs> So I'm guessing this is where the food poisoning comes in. Yeah. So we like there's like you know bits of steak like tiny slices of steak there's meatballs there are tiny sausages and then there was chicken <laughs> and oh, the chicken no. the chicken we didn't open till near the end and um we started putting it on the hot plate and there were only two sets of tongues so we were kind of swapping between the raw chicken and the cooked meat <laughs> So you put the raw chicken onto the hot plate, and then you would also pick up the cooked meat with the raw chicken tongues and put it onto oh, your plate. No. <laughs> Which <laughs> apparently, if you do food tech in high school, they say is bad. But I never did food tech, so I think that's rule number one. You don't um, cross contaminate. <laughs> so Jimmy, you're not just tired today; you're feeling a bit sick as well. Yeah, I'm probably going to die. <laughs> I don't know why Jed's trying to act like a hero, because he also <laughs> cross-contaminated with the yeah, chicken and the meat. <laughs> I at least put a little bit of effort into care. He's like, oh, no, I'm cross-contaminating and stuff. Nick was just like... But you still did it. Matter. Even if you <laughs> if you put effort into caring, which I never saw, you still did it. <laughs> hey, he's acknowledging it, though. That is definitely at least a little better than what you were doing. He's so, acknowledging hey, that he's doing better? something. If he's acknowledging it, then he's still going to do it. I was just ignorant. Maybe it's worse. So you were just trying to act oh, dumb. No, no, no. no I knew worse. what I was doing, but... <laughs> exactly, but I, yours is worse. <laughs> but I'm not trying to act like a hero while I'm doing it. I was literally going to message that group chat um, when I responded to say, don't let Nippler do the cooking. He likes to undercook things. Um, yeah. Did you undercook the chicken? I had to try to stop him from eating the chicken like, raw, or just like chicken... Yeah, I like my chicken medium rare. <laughs> chicken sashimi, that was underrated. Um, yeah, medium rare, so like still pink in the middle, right? That's the ideal chicken for you? That's how you want it. Yeah, still clucking. <laughs> yep. But how was it overall? That was a sophisticated outing for you guys. How did you feel like you, you coped? Jetty would have gone all right, but Nips? What, it wasn't that, it was just at Maddie's house. No, but that's what I mean. Like, are you not? You're not used to socializing without getting like blasted drunk. I was drinking. Okay, did you get drunk? Uh not super drunk. No, but I did. I after we had dinner, Jed left early because he had a different thing to go to. But after dinner, we played um Dance Dance Revolution. And this is going to you... shock you, but I I'm not a good dancer, and I have <laughs> <laughs> I have a game that has a camera that tracks your movement. To prove that I'm not a dance, but a good dancer. Oh my god! <laughs> so who was playing Dance Dance Resolution? Just you and you and Maddie, Just and Harrison, you. and Harrison. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, where did Jed have to go? Where did you go, Jetty? Um, I'm pretty cool, so I had to uh, just go to another person's party thing. So 
you you have a lot going on in your life. I don't know how you find not time really. To your door. He doesn't have that much going. It's just this is it's a weekend when two things is going on happen to happen on the same day. <laughs> the last weekend I saw you though, you left like after thirty minutes in a fucking full blown suit. So yeah, he's got some. He's he's much more popular than us, Nips. Ah. Uh... I don't know. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know where he went with that suit on. He could have just cried, cried in his car for three hours and came back. Maybe just, like... <laughs> just drives around the block or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but you you fit in a, like a normal person's event. Like, he, yeah, there was no beer pong. There was no, like, degeneracy. Like, you went there, you, you cooked some nice food and uh, played Dance Dance Resolution. I'm proud of you, man. Sounds like you're maturing. You weren't hung over this morning. And Super Smash Bros. And I, I'm i great at Super Smash Bros. I have to tell you, you, actually, when you're playing two people who don't game much, <laughs> 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 you feel like a god. Yeah. That game is really easy to feel good at as well. I've played it all of like three times in my life, so you can dust that one off next time. All you have to do is figure out one move that you can spam over and over again, and you're good. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Just play Kirby, suck them up, spit them out. Isn't that what Kirby does? Oh, I was sucking up a lot of people and spitting them right out. Don't you yeah, worry about and, that. And then, and then you played Smash Bros, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we played Smash Bros afterwards. <laughs> uh, well, I'm proud of you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you, man. And you're not hungover to this morning on a Sunday? This has got to be the first Sunday in a long time you're not hungover. So that is true. Cheers. Cheer. It does feel good to not be hungover. Where's your goon shorting? My goon. No, I've... I've upgraded a little bit. I bought a case the other day, so I'm drinking some beers. I've got two locked and loaded, ready to go. Make, why why are you pod. always double parked? Because I, I go through two when we're doing the pod. I can't leave for an hour. So I've got to, you know, have my reserves. And he can't just rotate to his beer fridge either. Yeah, why, yeah. why don't you just have a beer fridge <laughs> directly behind you like a normal person? <laughs> <laughs> I do, just in the garage, and I can't afford a wireless headset. So I can't walk and go get it. <clears throat> if you, you just didn't drink for one day, you could afford a wireless headset. Oh, all right. <laughs> Settle down, mate. I don't drink that Fucking much. alcoholic. <laughs> it's great. So I do. I drink a fair bit. I drink maybe a case and a half a week, and then like half a goon sack a week. But that is still like insanely cheaper than when I was smoking. I don't know how I feel about you going fully into goon again. I feel like you're regressing back to your high school days. Yeah, I am. Um, are you you're full into it now? Yeah, I watched a YouTube video the other day too on like with the alcoholics or recovering alcoholics talking about how they got into alcoholism and they talked about their like standard of drinking dropping and then like when they were drinking, the standard of when they drank dropping as well. So it all it would always start off with them like drinking heaps of beers and all that kind of stuff, but then by the end of it they're all drinking like casket wine and like just like really cheap shit alcohol just to get drunk cuz they're not enjoying the alcohol anymore. And I'm like seeing myself do that in real time. I'm like I'm actually doing that. I don't enjoy the goon. I'm just drinking to feel the buzz. I do see this is going to be a reference you might have to cut so no one's going to get it, but you you do look like Bevan like 20 or 30 years ago. <laughs> 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 when, when you move on to drinking port or drinking um fortified wine <laughs> yeah that's when we we're in trouble and like yeah. in a nutshell when we were like how old were we 18 19 20 maybe yeah we, we'll we're around then. yeah the three of us and, and one other boy lad we um drove to brisbane and stayed with this like hermit 50 year old it was really fucking weird. Um, but the guy, he was great. It was he, awesome. It was my dad's though. best mate. And they couldn't be, you know, any different, but they love getting yeah. pissed together so they get along well. <laughs> yeah. And he, he drank, I think, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, he, he drank four liters of fortified wine a day, right? Is that his thing? Is that? Yeah. I'm not sure if he's still doing it. He's actually a bit healthier now. But when we went down to see him, yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was four liters of fortified wine a day. That shit's like 60 standard drinks. And he's like in this rundown house too. Apparently he's super rich. Uh, there's no door on the fucking um, shower or and the toilet. Then the yeah, the no, no, no. One worse. But the room we were sleeping in, the toilet was in. So like <laughs> Nipla wakes up in the middle of the night and looks over at me, just like taking a shit at like fucking three a.m. in the morning. I was and he's like, hey, buddy. I was sleeping like with my head two minutes away from the toilet, and I wake up. <laughs> and Sean's just taking a shit. Sean's That's a, a real fucking story. 
<laughs> and he's like, oh, hey, man. I'm like, hey, <laughs> just taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I went to have a shower and I like tried to like slide the door shut. It was a wooden door that wasn't on rails. And then Bevan walks past and he's like, no, 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 we're all men here. We don't need doors. And then like pulls it open and <laughs> forces the fucking door open. I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> This was up in Queensland, and there's a bunch of cane toads around. And Sean's like, I, "I'm a man. I have to kill a cane toad." We, we, ben was telling us all these stories about, like, you know, shoving firecrackers up the cane toads and just mowing them over. So Sean, Sean crouched like a what was it? Like an axe, some sort of a weapon, rusty up, machete, a rusty machete like up the old wall. Tribal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy has a lot of like tribal stuff around the house. Goes outside. Finds the nearest cane toad and swings down onto the cane toad's neck. Doesn't swing hard enough to kill the cane toad. So the cane toad's just half dead, rooting around on the ground, trying to like, he got, can't breathe properly, just like <laughs> gasping for air. Like, you never felt bad for a cane toad, but this one you do. So we're like, Sean, just finish it. Just finish it. Sean's on the verge of tears, and he's like, I can't. <laughs> I, can't I can't finish. I can't do it. <laughs> so yeah. I, I think I think it was Sam. Yeah, mate. Sam just grabs it off him and he like slams it on it the head to it. finish the job. But yeah, that was the day I found out I had zero killer instinct. I was like all talk, all bravado, and then uh, yeah, the illusion was shattered. You got found out real, possible. real quick. <laughs> 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 uh, we had to drive up there as well and then drive back too that was a fucking horrible trip for the drive i mean trip was great good memories but my god that drive sucked you were smoking so much then as well and so we'll, we'll be driving it'll be freezing cold but we'll get the heater going finally heat up the car then she would wind down his window and fucking smoke a cigarette freeze i'll never out. forget like looking back in the review mirror and seeing jed like covering his mouth and nose with a pillow so he just didn't have to smell the <laughs> cigarette smell because <laughs> i was just chain smoking cigarettes the whole time but speaking of jail um, and that might ruin it if you, uh, you you cutting that might ruin the segue. Conor McGregor in hot water again. Have you heard about this yet, Jetty? I haven't heard the whole story. No. Nice. So the same. So last week, and to be honest, this guy's like a view cow. So I'm kind of glad he's come up again. Hopefully our shorts can <laughs> pop off a bit. Um, so we've got like I don't know, 25k views on the shorts of him just like alone last week. Um, but maybe let's not celebrate this one. So he's been accused of R word. And it's at the exact same basketball game where he knocked out the mascot. So it was a busy night for Mr. McGregor. Yeah. Yeah. Very busy. <laughs> <laughs> what else can you say? Huh? No. So anyway, so <clears throat> the, a, a lady or a woman came out accusing him of his, well, accusing his security team of forcing her into a bathroom where McGregor was waiting with another security guard and then him like forcing himself on her. But footage has kind of come out con- like contradicting the story. Um, the other thing as well, and we definitely don't want to look like we're um, maybe saying she's lying, but we'll let people do their own thinking. She said she apparently does not want to press charges uh, with Mitchell writing in her letters that the woman is only seeking settlements with McGregor, the NBA and Heat, which is the team. So she came out with that before she went public with it. So let your imagination go wild. Maybe it's a cash grab. Who knows? I don't know enough about the legal system to know if that's even like a you know standard procedure or not. So she claims that she uh, got away by repeatedly elbowing him and escaping. Um, but yeah, in hot water again. Oh, and his his fiance or wife Dee is currently pregnant as well. So I'm surprised like they're still together. Yeah, still together. Yeah, but um, yeah. I guess that's what happens when you're worth $600 million. Your wives don't leave you, right? Anyway, so there you go. McGregor in hot water again. Is there any news updates from it or like trial dates? No, nothing yet. So his lawyers came out and said that they're not interested in settling, blah, 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 accusing her of lying, all that kind of stuff. Um, so we'll see what happens. But he, he gave question to the mascot thing. Oh, sorry, he gave response to the... He was questioned about the mascot thing as well. And he was, like, pretty, like, jo- like jovial about his response. Seems to have just been, like, a straight-up accident. And he's on good terms with the mascot. So, at least he's not going to get sued by the mascot guy. 
Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely a settlement with the bus cuck guy. <laughs> yeah. He's the yeah. biggest cock of all time. He got his face broken in. He's like, oh yeah, you're good, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I get it. Yeah. <laughs> but no, no settlement there. Ironically, um, just with uh, this lady instead. So I'll keep uh, keep you guys updated on movements. But just McGregor being McGregor, you know. Can't wait for next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe there will be some um, TMZ comments for you to for you to clip for the shorts, Jetty. There you go. Not saying Connor did anything illegal. Okay, yeah, no, that one's not a good one to clip. <laughs> All right, let's move on to something you can actually joke about. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to stay silent during that because uh... <laughs> hey, you can't make light of that one. Now, something you can make light of is this fucking hilarious video. Now, there were some people injured. But I, I double-checked, nobody died. So we can laugh, we can make jokes. Just a couple of injuries is fine. Okay, but there was uh, this bagola in China. It's basically this restaurant with, like, a massive bagola covering it that flew away in, like, a hurricane storm. Um, and I've got a video of it. And one guy just refused to let go. What the fuck is a bagola? You know, one of the, like, uh, shade shelters. Bagolas. You know? Ah, oh, right. Must be a fancy homeowner thing, Niffler. <laughs> I think you're saying that word wrong, but I can't remember how to say it, so... <laughs> it's a pagola, isn't it? It's, I think it's pagola, yeah. It's a pagola? Yeah. Yeah, let's look at it. Let's Google it. Is it with a P? Oh, pergola. Pergola, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Would that have made the difference? Pergola, pergola? That sounds very similar. Don't get in your high horse, Niffler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pergola versus pergola. It's similar. <laughs> yeah. I think it's pronounced different, different as well. Anyway, move on. No, no, no. Let's Google this. How right. to pronounce. Google should just play per the word. Gola. Per, ger, le, per, ger, what? <laughs> Can you play it? Pergola. Pergola. It's not pergola. pergola. Okay, I wasn't, <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't pergola. Is that what you wanted it for? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so there's this perga- pergola in China. <laughs> <laughs> Which flew away in a hurricane. Um, but the owner of the restaurant in particular was very dedicated to making sure that this um, pergola didn't fly away. Um, he did get injured, but he's okay. He's recovered. He's made a full recovery. And this is the video. Sounds like an animal, pergola. Pergola. <laughs> Some sort of, <laughs> let's look, let's go to stock on that. or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the clip. Did you see? What? Okay, okay, okay. You didn't see. Lying. (laughs) So watch over here in this corner. I'll try and stop it before it goes. So watch over here. The owner is holding it down on that side of the video, on the far side, right here. This guy. Look at him. (laughs) He goes to the moon. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wait, how? How did he not die? (laughs) Look at him. Look how high he is. (laughs) Look at him. There's no look way he's not he dead. And, and look at this even the guy with a white shirt. <laughs> Jesus. I said there were a couple of injuries. Nobody died. Um, this white shirt guy definitely <laughs> broke some Lots legs. of people with <laughs> life support right now. The crazy thing is the owner landed on the roof of the restaurant. So, like, that's why, because he obviously flew through the sky, like, to the moon. But he landed on the roof, then climbs off the roof, through the roof, and just walks away. Like, like nothing happened. So that white guy gets fucked. Oh, yeah, anyway, so he lands on that roof. This is the clip of him climbing into his restaurant through the roof. <laughs> totally fine. And he just like dusts himself. Oh my god, there's more. <laughs> that's, that's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, look at him. See you later. Why wouldn't you let go? I know it happened fast. It's but... the own, or you can see all the employees are like, fuck no, I'm, get, I'm not being paid enough. <laughs> I'm going to let go of the owner's like, i got to hold it down. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, just, like, climbs himself back in. Anyway, yeah, so there's a rib fracture he got. That's it. Just a rib fracture. Look at that wind, though. Another slow-mo. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone hold on. He's flying. Look. See you later. See you later. Must be the owner that held on. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> And he'll be watching this clip, seeing who the dedicated employee is. In the <laughs> it's like the That's white shirt guy. He's getting a promotion. 
<laughs> Second in charge, his brown yeah. shirt's third in charge, and then this fair weather lady at the front that just let go straight away, she's fired. You know? <laughs> yeah, no, she's fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how crazy is that? Anyway, so there you go. And then there's a longer video of him just like walking out the door. He's like, fine. He shuts the door behind him as well. He's on with his job. You know, they're built different over there. Got money to make. <laughs> Dude, that's fucked. I can't <laughs> believe no one died. That's insane to me. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Um, and I've got another one. So Pink, you know, the like the music star? Yep. So she does like a bunch of like fancy acrobatics at her concerts. I don't know if you've ever heard about this. But there's this one that's like comically funny where she like launches herself across the stadium, but she's like spinning. So she's just like in the fucking sky, just like flying through the sky and like doing somersaults over and over again. Um, and it's like comically funny. I'll show you. Is this for every show? Yeah. Yeah. She does like full blown acrobatic stuff in every single one of her shows. She looks really intense too. Fucking weirdo. So you let her just yeets herself across the fucking stadium. <laughs> <Jesus> <laughs> Christ. Look at this. <laughs> she does that in every show. Just like sub assaults across the stadium. Would you go on that as a theme ride? Yeah, man. Just vomit all over everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Tornado is spew. Just going everywhere. <laughs> Look at it go. Anyway. So they were my two funny videos that I came across this week. What'd you think? I like them. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. That, that one with, with the motorcycle guy who got cleaned up, that was pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that was like I think that was Jed's least favorite video ever. He <laughs> kinda died. Um I didn't have to edit anything, guy. so that was it was okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, what have we got up next? I think I fucking... I, I think I put all of these up. Hey, which one's the next one? Oh, Kick and Twitch. Yeah, have you guys heard about all the Twitch stuff that's happening? Um, has someone done something bad or shown something bad again? No, no, no one's done anything bad. Um, so- Extracurricular activities while streaming. No, 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 no blowjobs on stream this time. <laughs> um, but for anybody who doesn't know, Kick is a, a streaming platform that someone called Trainrex has kind of jump started with um, Stake.com. Stake.com is the people who do all the poker machi- the poker machines. Anyway, so they've been like trying to poach talent from Twitch, but the um, and they've paid a streamer called XQC, who's probably the biggest streamer on Twitch or one of. It's either him or Kai Sinat, who's important later. Um, they've paid him one hundred million dollars over two years to sign with Kick on a non-exclusive deal. So they've paid him $100 million over two years for him to go and stream with Kick, and then he can stream anywhere else he wants as well. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so much money. Fucking mental. It's like more than most athletes. He's now on the list for the... Hi- I think he was like fifth on the list for the highest paid athlete of all time. Jesus. On a, on a per year deal of $50 million per year. And they don't even get him exclusively. He still yeah. on Twitch at this. How fucking bananas is that? He can still stream on Twitch. Um, I think he'll have something in his contract with Twitch where Twitch won't let him stream on Kick. Um, so I think something he probably won't ever stream on Twitch again. But um, yeah, he can stream wherever else he wants on any other fucking platform and just get paid by Kick. So What's his stream. What's his specialty? He's a variety streamer, so he, gaming mostly, but he's a variety streamer, so he do, do a bunch of stuff. Um, all of the top streamers do that. They'll game, they'll um, do IRL stuff, they'll do whatever. Um, he's kind of like transcended the platform. He's like a actual like fucking crazy celebrity now. Um, to, to like kids, to children, not to fucking normal people. To children and me, he's a celebrity. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, 12-year-olds and Sean. Yeah. Fucking Why didn't you stream Diablo 4, Sean? You put enough hours to dominate the platform. Yeah, people are getting paid 100 mil to go over to Kick now, which has like no viewers. I mean, now's the time to start streaming, right? So, Do you have to gamble on Kick, though, if they're funded by stake.com? Great question. Um, no, you don't have to. You can do whatever you want, right? But I suspect that they have like a clause in XQC's contract oh, where he has 100% to, he has would to gamble. Be. Yeah, because he used to gamble on Twitch before it was banned, um, and he gambled on stake. So I suspect he's got some type of deal where he's got to like gamble for 100 hours a month or something. Because how do they make that money back? That's fucking mental. 
hundred million dollars over two years. Fucking crazy. Uh, but it gets worse. So the like the OG hot tub streamer. Do you guys know what hot tub streamers are? Hot tub. You guys don't know what no, hot tub streamers are. No, yeah, the hot girl streamers go in the hot tub and. Literally, like they'll that's stream it. in a that's hot pretty tub much it. <laughs> in their bikinis. <laughs> You've never seen these, Jenny? I'll show yeah. you. Like, there's a there's a category for it on Twitch where girls are just like in hot tubs. How long are they in there for? It's not good for you. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not. I'd <laughs> love Jen to be in the comments section. Just be like, get out. <laughs> you could have thrown up. That's how people can't wait, man. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Look at these. So this is the hot tub. Sorry, it's pools, hot tubs, and beaches category on Twitch. Um, and there's just a bunch of like bikini girls doing yoga and in hot tubs, pools, etc. Uh, like we'll just click one just for educational purposes. Like there's two girls here. Um, yeah, doing whatever they're doing. They're, yeah, they're is, uh... accepting summer boyfriend application, Sean. You going to put well, one in? Hello. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Of course not me. We'll put one in for you. Uh, Freddy the Ape driving a golf cart? What the fuck? Okay, now this is entertainment. <laughs> this is a fat ape driving a golf cart. It's an orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Um, okay, anyway. Sorry, so point of that was, is the OG uh, hot tub streamer is Armoranth. She's a, it's actually this girl here. This is a channel playing her VODs, so like replays of her fucking videos. She's the OG. She's the one who started all of this. Um, look at that camera strategically placed. Um, she's also signed with Kick. Um, there's no, like her salary amount hasn't been disclosed, but she's fucking mega famous as well. In this, like, she's kind of transcended streaming too. She'll do... Um, I'm very distracted. Hang on a minute, sorry. Close this. <laughs> um, no, no, keep it open. It's fine. <laughs> But now she's going over to kick, and then in her video where she was announcing that she's going, she scrolled through her phone contacts, which is obviously like a dummy phone ca- contact list. It had like 12 people in it. People are speculating that all the people that were contacts in that list are people that kick has signed. Um, one of them was Kai Sinat, who's like ultra mega famous fucking Twitch streamer. Um, there's Ms. Kiff on there. There's a bunch of them. Um, long story short, they reckon this is just going to completely bury Twitch. So, with that, in conjunction with a bunch of whole other Twitch dramas, I reckon Twitch is done for. But Twitch is owned by Amazon, the biggest company yep. company in the fucking world. Yeah. You're trying to tell me they can't compete with Stake.com? <laughs> or they, they just don't want to? They just don't want to offer the same amount? Yeah, they don't want to offer the same amount. They've like made that pretty clear. They've got like 50-50 revenue splits um, with all their streamers. Everywhere else, including YouTube, has 70-30. Um, and then Twitch used to, but now they've made it 50, 50. They've done a bunch of stuff with like restricting advertisement sizes in people's streams. You can't have like embedded ads, um, just a bunch of stuff that just like, right. yeah, inhibits these people. So but Twitch is going like crazy and, uh, it's and just kick, losing it's money. Like you can just come here and actually like have a little bit of freedom and probably get paid more. Yeah. And they've got trillions of dollars worth of crypto money. I'm sure a fucking stake. But like those guys were like, had the monopoly on gambling when it was just like booming. Um, so I'm sure they got like trillions of dollars worth of fucking money. And these things can fail even if they're owned by big people. Like Microsoft had something called Mixer, who they like paid um, a streamer called Ninja. I think it was like 20 million per year or something crazy. Like it was pretty up there as well to go across. And that ended up going bankrupt. Like that shutting down. Like these things, like it doesn't matter who owns them. They can definitely go fucking belly up. So yeah, pretty crazy. See what happens. Yeah, I guess it's hard to get people to change platforms. Like, because if you just... Yeah. Not with the pool new category. What was it? Pool beaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, they got that over at Kick too. And there's like the... um, Because like you can get banned off Twitch pretty easily. Like if you show... You can't show feet on Twitch. Which is fucking weird. Wait, at any like, point? At any point. You can't show bare feet. You'll get banned. Dead set. How weird is that? <laughs> the fetish people have really That's taken crazy. over. I feel like they're <laughs> punishing. They're punishing people for like the weird foot fetish guys, like being yeah, crazy. That's true. You can't show your bare feet. Um, you'll get banned for a lot of shit, and then they banned gambling. They banned a bunch of people for gambling, but then they have this hot tub stream. Like in that fucking in that stream we were just watching with Armoranth, right? 
He had shoes on. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So look at that, right? You've got that view, right? No, she, a bunch of cleavage. Oh, she does have shoes on. And she has shoes on because she can't show feet. She'll get banned if she shows feet. Wait, but she can wear fuck? a fucking bikini. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead serious, man. That makes no fucking sense at all. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> true, Why can't That's you true. show feet? <laughs> yeah, but you can just like straight up just, yeah. That's the dumbest thing I've ever had in my fucking life. She's wearing like the stimpiest bikini that like, no, you can't show your fucking feet. <laughs> She's like, yeah, see? You see her boots. It's because, it's because um, of people like you, Sean, you little... <laughs> a little <laughs> pervert. Yeah. Little perverts like you. <laughs> and now she has to wear fucking crux at the pool. <laughs> yeah. This is a playback stream, right? But look at these fucking seedy fuckers that comment. So this is playback, right? This guy, Emilio, says, uh, would you smash? Nice. Do you speak another language? Are you going to play a video game? Hi, you're great. Keep up the good work, champ. Like, he's like, <laughs> talk <laughs> so far. Keep yeah. up the good work, champ. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's like a, like she's a kid or something. No, but you just scroll up. It's like, hello, nice bikini. It's like, it's so, these are, it's like, how are you? Your boobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see, I see why the foot rule is in now. <laughs> yeah, it's like, please, can you show me your boobs? And this is on a replay. This isn't even live. Like, this is just a replay of somebody else's fucking... Oh, so they, they don't sleep. know this isn't live. So yeah, they don't know it isn't like live. It is. So they're just talking to it. You know what this is? This is a bunch of like twelve-year-old boys. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. Don't know anything three. and mm. show pussy. Yeah, <laughs> and, he, and then he puts his phone number in the live chat and says, "Send me nude photos and videos." <laughs> it's his actual phone number. In. <laughs> That's insane. Send him a video, Nifla. Send him some photos. <laughs> Send him some dick pics. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's like exclusive content. <laughs> Um, Who puts their phone number <laughs> in the fucking chat? <laughs> oh, this guy's asking for feet as well. He says, oh my fucking God, hi, souls, please. <laughs> souls, please. Yeah, that's feet pics. I'm telling that's you. That's for feet stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, these, um, these chats are fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking awesome. <laughs> fucking bunch of perverted 12-year-old kids. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. And she's like, she's credited for, what the fuck? What is this? Oh, I just saw a, um, anyway. So she's like, she's credited for, <laughs> I can't think straight. I'm fucking confused. <laughs> I'm distracted. <laughs> that bloke just had his number in the stream. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, anyway. So, yeah, we should have more of this over at Kick now. Long story short, Twitch fuck is fucked, yeah, I think. Yeah, a year, year or two from now, they'll, um, yeah, they'll slowly start bringing, like, a bunch of small streamers over. XQC is massive. So, curious to see what happens. Uh, it's probably good they have competition, at least. Yeah. Yeah, it'll force, like, um, look at this Kai Booty as well. She's one of my favourites. <laughs> I'll take that back. Ban that, please. <laughs> she does oh, this, she's um... so close to showing her foot. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> bannable, right? <laughs> she's so... That's A lot like of ankle there. Foot. <laughs> yeah. Um, she does these, like, dating shows. Um, where she'll have guys on and she'll just like roast them. Okay, um, let's move. Can we get you on there, Sean, on the dating show? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> uh, that was one of the funniest things I think we've ever seen. That guy literally posted his phone number. <laughs> <I can't laughs> <find it. laughs> and posted it to a replay of a video. <laughs> Not even the real one. Oh, too good. Anyway. Um, but yeah, they all have OnlyFans. It's just a way for them to like show their OnlyFans. But good on them if how Twitch does allows it. Just work. chatting category. How does that? Yeah. How does the just chatting category work? It's just like IRL. So like anything that doesn't like fit a video game. Um, if, so like, are they chatting to people, or are they just chatting by themselves, or chatting to Either chat or... to like chatting? Chat. Yeah, chatting to chat usually, or they're doing like IRL stuff. Like, um, like this person's out. At a bike store. You don't want to chat to the fun. chat. You don't want to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what they do, though. Yeah, they chat to the chat. They just have, like, moderators that normally ban that stuff. Um, so those creepy messages get banned pretty quick. But They'd be very um, busy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Although, I think if you're those, if you're those like, um, hot tub streamers, you, you wouldn't ban those people, right? They're the people that give you cash. 
you know? I mean, yeah, if they're actually giving you money and subscribing or whatever, yeah, you keep them around. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you don't care. Um, but it's just, it's so crazy that this stuff is allowed. Like, what content is this? Like, I don't know, but I screen. like it. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a torso. Like you can't even see her face. Yeah, but um, she tripled it. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, this person in like a cow outfit. <laughs> okay. That's. I think she's Korean, right? Uh yes, that is. Yep, that Jim, is Korean. What, what does that text say? Can you read that out? <laughs> oh yeah, me? can you read this? To I think it says, let me see that foot in that shoe. <laughs> Show Put it in slowly, though. <laughs> slowly, close to the camera. <laughs> Here's phone number, 240. Yeah, they, they're <laughs> all just Korean phone numbers. <laughs> 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 up in chat. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, so I don't even know where we were going with that. I got sidetracked. D- Twitch is so degenerate. I didn't know it was this de- de- degenerate. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's like a, it's a warm-up, man. Like, it's a, yeah, if you can't work out what to pick on the old P-Hub, just start off at Twitch, warm yourself up. Anyway, all right, we can move on from that one. I'll, um, I'll keep browsing while you tell us about the Denver Nuggets, hey? Going on yeah, the so Nuggets. they beat Miami in the NBA Finals, and they won their first championship in 43 years. Wow. wow. And the Impressive. celebrations they had in the city. 750,000 people showed up. What? Yeah. Holy fuck. Massive. How many people live in... Oh, I won't say that. I was find say a it. video of the... Also, <laughs> the Nuggets <laughs> is not a great name for his team. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not bad. It's like a gold mining town or city. Fair enough. Yeah, you can see they've got the, the pickaxes there. Yeah. Um, All right, can you find a video awesome. of the city going wild? There's one, and there was a shooting afterwards, which isn't great at the celebration. <laughs> but, shooting oh, afterwards. Shit. Hey, I mean, 750,000 people, one of them's going to be a mass shooter, right? That's a lot of people. Oh, there we Ooh, chaos. Chaos Ooh, I like chaos. Oh, let's watch this one. Me too. No, you want the nighttime ones before the bad stuff happened. There's... Yeah, true. true, 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 true. I'll watch this first. Holy shit! Did you see all those people, though? We will go to the nighttime ones as well. Look at them! Oh, so this is when they're calm. They've been day drinking, but they're still calm. <laughs> I it's think just a parade from the street. <laughs> this is probably the next day. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Holy crap! There's one video of um, like you know how the crowd throws beers to the players and they drink it. So they throw yeah. a beer and it misses the player. And it hits the player's wife in the back of the head. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. oh, we're watching. Did someone get hit by a scooter. What the fuck happened? Yeah, I think someone died. There was a fucking blood stain on the floor. What kind of video is this? Yeah, there's like two scooters laying down at a crime scene and a blood stain. So I don't know what the fuck happened there. This but... is a news video. <laughs> Why are they showing that shit? That's all... Are those police? That's like security and shit. That's a lot of police. Holy shit. Yeah, crazy celebration. Great name, by the way. Great name. Mayor <laughs> Handcock. So there's hope for Parramatta Eels yet. If these guys can win. I don't know how you're years. jumping to that. I think Paramatta <laughs> Eels are done for the rest of your <laughs> life, at least. Uh, oh, dude, wow. If the year after you died, <laughs> they won a, they won a premiership. Imagine. Uh, I would die from laughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can meet there, and you can tell me that they won after you kill yourself from laughing. <laughs> oh, that's the guy I was trying to tell you about laughing. last when we last time. The Russian guy isn't that the Russian guy? I think he's. Serbian. Oh, okay. This is all like new. We need like some on the ground TikTok star <laughs> videos of them going wild. This is on news reporting. Yeah, apparently, um, two sh- two people got shot and a police officer got run over by a fire truck. Ugh. Friendly fire, huh? Let's do this. Um, this better be good. All right. So, anybody listening, we're gonna branch out a little bit. We're gonna do a uh, a horror story here. It's not. It's not really a horror story. It's an unsolved crime story um but i've been like diving into a fucking cesspool hole of these like unsolved mystery serial killer whatever <laughs> Jed, icebergs. what what if yard sean did this crime <laughs> like, <laughs> like, how do you get rid of this body? 
it's like I don't know if you've seen it, but OJ Simpson does this um interview where he said if he did the murder, what he would have done in the murder. Oh no! Yeah, it's he super doesn't. fucked up. He does. So he's pretty much admitting to it because he's like, if I was in that situation, I'd do it like this and this. So he's fully, <laughs> and I feel like that's exactly what this is going to be. <laughs> what a self-report! That is so fucking funny. Uh, well, no, that isn't what this is. This happened in um, 1935. <laughs> You're <so>. fucking music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Why not? Fucking music for this. All right. When, when was it? 1935. Uh-huh. 1935, yeah. Um, so, it definitely wasn't me. Um, Alright, let's do it. Why not? Anyway, this one struck a chord with me. I thought it was really cool. Unsolved mystery, and it's kind of kind of a bit spooky, bit weird. Um, let's go. Never been solved. On January 2nd, 1935, at 1.20pm, a lone man checked into the President Hotel in downtown Kansas City. He had no luggage besides a comb and a toothbrush, and asked for an interior room on a high floor of the hotel. He checked in under the name Ronald T. Owen, and after checking in and receiving his room, room 1046, he left the hotel, only to be seen intermittently throughout his stay. How are we going so far, boys? Yeah, so I'm following along. <laughs> cool. January 3, one day after Owen checked into the hotel, the maid, Mary Sopdick, stopped by to clean his room. It was around noon, and most of the hotel residents were out for the day. However, upon ch- reaching in, reaching Owen's room, Soptic found the door to be locked from the inside. <laughs> What's her name? Soptic. <laughs> I sound like you said soft dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Soptic. Okay. Um, he was definitely saying dick before. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely saying soft dick. <laughs> Thank you for stopping me and correcting me and not letting me do that through this whole fucking thing. Uh, she knocked and Owen opened the door. After insisting she come back later, Sopdick eventually entered. She found the room in complete darkness with the shades tightly drawn and only the light coming from a small dim table lamp. As she, this is a true story, by the way. As she cleaned, Owen mentioned that he had a friend coming to visit, visit him shortly and, and would she mind locking the door. Sopdick agreed and Owen left the room. Four hours later, Sopdick returned to room 1046 with fresh towels. She found the door still unlocked from when she had cleaned the room that afternoon and upon entering found Owen lying fully clothed on top of his still made bed, seemingly asleep. A note on his bedside table read, Don, I'll be back in 15 minutes, just wait. The next morning, around uh, January 4th, around 10.30 a.m., Soptic stopped by to make the beds and found Owen's door to be locked from the outside, as, as it would have been when patrons left. Assuming Owen was not inside, she opened the door with a master key. To her surprise, Owen was sitting inside, in the dark, alone, in the chair in a corner of the room. As she cleaned, the phone rang, and Owen picked up. No, Don, I don't want to eat. I'm not hungry. I just had breakfast, he said, and after a moment repeated, no, I'm not hungry. Later that day, Soptic returned with fresh towels, having taken the ones from the room that morning. However, she was... Uh, however, as she knocked this time, she heard two voices in the room, rather than just Owen's. When she announced that she had fresh towels, a loud, deep voice told her to leave, claiming that they had enough towels. Though she knew she'd removed all the towels from the room that morning, Soptic left the two men alone, not wishing to intrude on what was clearly a sensitive and private conversation. During the night, a woman staying in the room next door, 1048, would report hearing loud noises, both male and female, uh, cursing on the same floor. The next morning, the bellhop received a call from the hotel's telephone operator. The phone in room 1046 had been off the hook for 10 minutes without anyone using it. The bellhop went up to check on Owens and noticed that the door was locked with a do not disturb sign hung on the doorknob. He knocked on the door and Owen told him, not to, co- told him to come in. However, when the bellhop told Owen that the door was locked, he got no response. The bellhop knocked again, then yelled for Mr. Owen to hang up the phone, assuming Owen had simply been drunk and knocked it off the hook. However, an hour and a half later, the telephone operator called the bellhop again. The phone in room, the phone in room 1046 was still off the hook and hadn't been hung up at all. This time, the bellhop let, let himself into Owen's room with the master key. The man was lying naked on the bed, alone, seemingly drunk. Not wishing to deal with him, the bellhop simply straightened the, the phone, placed it back on the hook, and locked the door behind him. Owen reported to his manager, <coughs> reporting Owen to his manager. To his surprise, an hour later, the telephone operator called again. The phone was off the hook, though not in use. 
This time, when the bellhop opened the door, he found a bloodbath. Owen was sitting curled in the corner of the room, his head in his hands, suffering multiple stab wounds. The bed sheets and towels were stained with blood, and the walls were spat splattered with it. Bellhop immediately called the police, who took Owen straight to the hospital, where doctors discovered that Owen had been tortured viciously. His arms, legs, and neck had been restrained by some sort of cord, and his chest sustained multiple stab wounds. He also suffered a punctured lung and a fractured skull. Um, Owen was pronounced dead at the hospital shortly after arriving. This is almost over, I promise. <laughs> I see Jetty looking around. <laughs> the doctors also discovered that the, the wounds on Owen's had been inflicted well before the bellhop's first trip to Owen's room that morning when they discovered him naked on the bed. When investigators searched the room, there were no clothes, no clothes in the room at all, and nothing matching the descriptions, uh, description of of Owens when he when he checked in. The hotel amenities such as soap and toothpaste were also missing, as well as anything that could have been a murder weapon. The only thing a note that detectives found were four small fingerprints on the telephone stand, though they were never identified. Over the next couple of months, various people identified body the body as a loved one, though none of the identifications stuck. Finally, the case ran cold, and the de detectives decided to bury the body. As they arranged for a funeral, a small bouquet of flowers and a donation to cover the funeral costs showed up at a funeral home with the letter that read, Love Forever, Lucille. A year later, a woman named Og Ogle Tree claimed that Owen slash Scott was her son and had been missing for years. She claimed his name was Artemis Ogle Tree and that he'd been staying at another Kansas City area hotel at the time he went missing. Though there wasn't any more evidence to her case, and uh, the, though there wasn't any more evidence to her case than any of the others, police were eventually inclined to believe her, though experts claimed it uh, was only based on a lack of evidence in the rest of the cases. To this day, the case remains unsolved, opened yearly by Kansas police as new pieces of evidence unfold, um, for the time being, however, it seems that the mystery of Route 1046 may never truly be solved. Wait, so the, uh, when the bellboy went up there and put the phone back on the hook, yeah, whoever the murderer was was still in the room, right? He was just like hiding yeah. in the closet or some shit. Yeah, so the, the stab wounds and everything were there the, when the bellhop went in the first time and found him lying naked so on the he got bed. fucked up more afterwards. Yeah, so like he was already fucked up, lying naked on the bed. Bellhop goes in, fixes the phone. The killer's obviously in that room with him. Um, leaves and yeah, continues to get fucked up until he goes back an hour and a half later to find him even more fucked up. How are they still then, opening that case to this day where there's like a billion murders in America that go unsolved <laughs> a year? Why are they looking yeah. back to this one from like a hundred years ago? <laughs> <laughs> Just let it go. <laughs> They're probably not. They're probably not. Who knows? Whatever. It was, um, anyway, that's a combination of a few different articles. That last paragraph, who knows? Probably sensationalized. But how weird is it that the money for his funeral shows up with the love you forever Lucille comment? Yeah, that's very strange. Maybe it was like some bondage shit that went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, he had it, like I don't know. The people poor, next door. Poor guy just forgot his safe word. That's the issue. <laughs> 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 yeah, and like the door being locked from the outside, like he was obviously like being held captive in that room, right? Maybe by like his dom queen. <laughs> <laughs> so was it a guy or a girl? Because that, that was very confusing throughout the story, whether it was like a guy or a girl who was in there with Sorry. him. It was a guy. It yeah, was a guy. Owens. Yeah. Because some, I, didn't they say there was like a female voice at some point? Yeah. Yeah, the room next door overnight heard a bunch of people. Um, so guys and girls in that room. It's overnight. an orgy. There's an orgy. <laughs> and then... kind of sounds like it, right? Um, and then, yeah, the, he was dead the next day. So maybe. Had some ladies of the night over, 1938. I'm sure that happened all the time, you know? Yeah, it's fucking weird. Yeah. There you go. Room 1046. Unsolved. What do you reckon happened? I've, I've done heat. I've done a fair bit of research into it. I'm pretty sure I know what happened. There's um there's a bunch of other stories too, but so he was f he was he originally went to the hotel across the street. Um and the prices were too fucked up, so then he went to this hotel and complained about the prices when he was checking in. Um and then people reported seeing him with another male figure in the other hotel. Um and then all of like he was talking to this Don character um that the bellhops and whatever overheard. Um 
to like the leading theory is that he was involved in some kind of like gang crime. Yeah, like the like the mob, for example. Um, and then they ended up killing him. Another one is that he he could have been having an affair with someone called Lucille, um, who had a family member that found out and killed him, or maybe like his because he was married. Maybe his like wife's husband killed him. Uh, not sorry, his wife's like brother or something killed him. Maybe there was like some weird weird affair shit. Because why would like Lucille pay for his wedding? And uh, not his wedding, sorry, his funeral. It does sound it's like weird, some, right? it could be some weird mob shit where they killed him and then they're just like, you know, I oh, will take care of his funeral. Yeah, like, <laughs> with a no, mob, we'll do something. Really nice yeah. Of them. Yeah. yeah, you know, sweet house. Uh, either that or it's like seriously, like some kind of fucked up bondage shit. Who knows? Like people are into all sorts of weird shit, you know. For him to be like lying naked on the bed, all cut up and injured, right? But then not tell but the he bell. Could, hop. He could just sleep naked, right? No, because he was injured when the bellhop went walked in. Remember? Yeah, but he so was the... also like unconscious, wasn't he? Oh, maybe he wasn't unconscious when the bellhop walked in and like found him hurt, right? I f- so like maybe I thought he was. When you read that, I took it as he was like, um, like he he wasn't like responding to anything because the bellhop no. thought he was so drunk he was like passed out or something, right? So when they found him injured, he was curled up in a ball covering his head. He um he lied and said that he hit his head on a bathtub um, and was conscious when he was found, passed out on the way to the hospital and then never woke up again. Um, so he was conscious when the bellhop found him. Um, maybe he was unconscious when the bellhop walked in the first time, but like if he wasn't and he's all injured, why wouldn't he say something to the bellhop? You know? yeah. He's probably like, well, the bellhop's just going to get murdered as well if I fucking say something right now. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. Or maybe he was enjoying it. Maybe it's the, the Dom Queen thing and he, like he was enjoying the pain. Um, didn't want to, you know, say anything. And then she took it too far. Splattered blood all over the walls and shit. Who knows? I mean, that's probably, yeah. I'm going with the BDSM <laughs> thing. <laughs> I reckon if we got a safe word, <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> took it too far. Yeah, yeah. No, he, he, his safe word was banana, and he kept shouting out oranges or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, pretty crazy. Anyway, so that's the story. No one will ever know. There was a, a, a somebody called a, a, a station one time in like the early two thousands, um, and called a newspaper. And said that an elderly person's house that they were cleaning out had a bunch of like newspaper clippings and um, photos of this person and the news story and whatever um, in this box. It looked like they'd been like collecting it all. So it looks like they might have been connected to it in some way. But they, um, yeah, they lost connection with the call and they never called back and gave any more info. So that's probably just some guy fucking around. (laughs) Yeah, we could do that now. Now you know enough. What What a name, by the way. Ogletree? Yeah, Ogletree Tree's crazy. Yeah, what a great name. Artemis Ogletree. Anyway, there you go. There's um what did you think of my voice as a um as a, a true crime voiceover? I put Jed to sleep for a little while, so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely did. I was just enjoying the Ravenclaw music, whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, in the yeah. background. Oh uh, yeah. No, it's okay. Right. You could you could narr- narrate some books or something. Do some audio book readings. You think so? Do you do you have any do you read much, Nips? No. Come on, man. No. <laughs> Alright, well next book you want to read, let me know and I'll I'll read it to you. I heard he said That's fifty great. shades. I'll give you the book. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you the book and every time I want to like read another chapter, I'll just call you up. And Done. and whatever you, yeah. you're doing, you have to drop it and start reading the book. Only if you promise that you will let me read you the entire thing. Because I think you might do it a couple times as a joke, but then by the end of it, you'll be the one suffering, <laughs> not me. <laughs> right? Imagine listening to my voice for like a Game of Thrones style, like size novel. Yeah, Sean no, wins out of it's this. It's going to be a short book. It's going to be a short <laughs> book for sure. He wants to <laughs> marry out a little uh, yeah. Horton hears a who or whatever. I'm fucking, yeah, God. All right, episode 40 is the real number. Thanks for listening. Appreciate you all. If you're still here, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we will talk to you next week. Peace. Peace.